is he? Is he going to be all right? Please, calm down. Have you no manners? You shouldn't be shouting at an injured man's bedside. Uh, right. Sorry. Yeah, leave it to a doctor to point something like His that. His look worse than they are. It seems they're all superficial, nothing life threatening. Uh, I see. Thank goodness. But it looks like he was put to sleep with magic or a drug. What? Is that why he was so unsteady? But it couldn't have been magic. True. The root keepers keep a close watch, so if magic was used, they'd know right away. So the only possibility left is a drug. But I don't see any evidence of that either. What, what do you mean? Are doctors supposed to be able to spot something like that? I'm just as confused as you are. He doesn't show any of the typical signs of being drugged to sleep at all. Even if it was a drug, who gave it to him? And when? Belkut was with us all morning. Let go of me! Let me through! Wait! Hold on, you! A little dramatic, don't you think? Hey! You're not allowed in here! Guards, stand down! Oh, yeah, yes, your highness. Pardon me. So... Uh-oh. Belkut, oh, Belkut, no. Calm down, Marina. His injuries aren't as bad as they look. He'll be fine. Sorry, I'm so sorry. They told me he'd be asleep before the match even started. So you're the one that drugged him. Marina, you didn't. The soup you gave him for breakfast. It's impossible such a drug couldn't possibly exist. No, I know of one. What? Completely odorless and tasteless, and nobody could even detect it. And once you've taken it, you'll just look like you're sleeping normally, even to the most trained eye. Beyond, how do you... But that drug should no longer exist, as far as I know. And did Marina really? But why? What would you do such a thing, Marina? Well, isn't it obvious? If Belkut wins the match, then he'll be out of her reach forever. And so that's why she drugged him. But where did you get the drug, then? Must have been from that gold guy. So it was Gazelle all along in order to win the match. So now they're thinking that the <clears throat> only the nobility could get their hands on a drug like that, so those thugs must have been working for a noble. And that noble is Gazelle. No, you've got it all wrong. I did it on my own, honest. Please believe me, if you don't, the proprietor and proprietress will be... Well, you could say that. Now I'm starting to get the real picture here. From Marina. I don't like this one bit. Everything and everyone is starting to look shady to me now. I'm gonna go talk to the guy. The guy? Why him? He has nothing to do with it. Well, he is, well, he was kind of connected to Gazelle's scheme here before the Sacred Game. So, let's go ahead and talk to him, too. You're going to see the guy, too, right? I'll go with you. Yeah, might as well. Not much left to do here. So, Leon joined the party. Again. I guess he could go ahead and talk to those guys, but I really wouldn't get too much out of it. Ah, uh, Your Highness the Prince, I have a message for you from the Commander of the Queen's Knights. From the Majesty Fairies? Yes, Lady Leon. The blessing of the victor and the closing ceremony are about to begin, but don't worry, we'll cover for you, so do whatever you believe is most important right now. That's a complete message from His Majesty, Your Highness. Nothing gets by fair, does it? Well, of course. You knew that we're investigating just what happened with Belkut. Let's well, go ahead and here and talk to Gazelle, or not Gazelle, the guy. I'm starting to get the names mixed up. So is the guy. What's the deal? You didn't have anything to do with those armored spies, did you? No. Okay, now he's finally talking. What? They started speaking to me. I could not tell you why. What they said was of no interest to me, but they gave me no opportunity to excuse myself. That's what I thought. So, 
why didn't you say so before? So basically, if you choose this, then you know, lowers the guy's disposition on you. But if you say this, then it should it'll be easier to recruit him later on. Because yeah, you will be able to recruit him later on. It doesn't matter, I was born in office. To most of these people, that makes me a spy. I was a baby too young to even walk when I left that country. My only homeland is the battlefield. So, I guess it was a gladiator all of his life. I think those armored spies were being used too. They had information passed off on them, like how the guy was born in the armaments, or how to get to the underground passage that leads to the arena base. I guess the guy falsely accused and disqualified from the sacred game. Not exactly think about it. How could anyone have predicted what those armaments guys would do? And it was mere chance you heard those voices. This was just some half-baked plot with no real outcome plan. I bet this guy getting disqualified was just a matter of chance. Just a matter of chance? That's horrible. It's that bastard. Talking about Brazil. He lays schemes and just sits back and watches how they unfold. He gets a kick out of watching people get up, caught up in his plots. Just look what... He did to Belkin. There must have been an easier way, but he had to go and get poor Marina hand, Marina's hand dirty too. I bet he thought it would be more interesting that way. Yeah, he sure did seem to say that when he was talking last night. That's awful. Giselle loves schemes the way Kyle loves women. He'll try anything as long as he thinks it'll be amusing. And he almost always gets what he wants in the end. Victory in the sacred game. I told you before, didn't I? That's the kind of guy... He is, or rather I should say, that's the kind of guy he's become. Facets is exactly what I expect from him. Now she's cursing him. So, we have to confront him directly. We should let Mother know. So yeah, let's go ahead and tell the Queen. Because we can't really confront him because we don't have actual proof that it was him that drugged Belkin. Since he did it so... decisively. Let's hurry up and tell her majesty, or else the prince is about to marry that man. And the guy, he's going to be executed, and he didn't even do anything. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and try and save him, too. If death is at my fate, then so be it. Now, basically, you got to say I would never let that happen or be quiet, but trust me, he will like it if you say that you'll never let that happen. Hmm. In any case, we have to inform Marshtok. Come on. So, yeah, those are two choices right there that'll really affect the guy and how to get him. So, now we're going to have to go ahead and meet up with the queen, and she's just in her room. Up here. Yeah, I think I'll just do this on screen, otherwise I might more get, get more copyright messages saying that it's all... two bits from... Konami there. So, I think I'll just stay on screen. So, you just want to head to the queen's room right up here. Is become a god. After all, I am omnipotent, and 
and I have power in befitting a god. Our shot. Your majesty. To begin with, I must bring down judgment upon Lord Godwin. It is a mockery of me and my beloved children. I'll do to Stormfist what I did to Lord Mace. Uh-oh. So basically, all you gotta do is say mother and she'll calm down. And if you be quiet, then Ferret will do it. And so I'll lazen everyone else. Did I? No, it's all right, my dear. That was close. Sorry about this. Wondering, the Thank Dark Arcanum is the drug that was used to put Belkut to sleep. Even though they don't really get into how that is, I thought I'd just mention that. Now we are in our room sleeping. Prince! Oh, you're already awake? Good morning, your highness. Looks like you didn't sleep very well, huh? You either? Well, at least you're not all bandaged or stuff stuff like that. Actually, I slept like a log. No, there was too many things to think about. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I shouldn't be broadened like this so early in the morning. Your Majesty and the Princess are awake too, let's go. So, I guess we'll probably talk with them later. We've covered quite a bit. We have rescued Marina, watched Bell Coot fight the championship match, and pretty much done a whole whack of stuff, so now we're going to be going ahead and saying our goodbyes to the people on surface and heading back to Silk Molina, so this is the Mod Triple One saying goodbye, thank you for tuning in, if you like this video, please hit the comment or subscribe, and see you all next time.